soon to be flattened with treasures. This guy bought this for uh, taxes owed to the town. Believe it or not, until a couple weeks ago, somebody was living in here. Been slowly uh, working for him here and there, just uh, demoing all the metal out of it. <clears throat> Making dump runs. Now he's decided to uh, have an excavator come in, he's supposed to be here anytime, to uh, level it, crush it all up. They made him uh, cap off the sewer, fill it with cement, so they'd stop charging him for a sewer bill. Of course, all the power's been shut off. Oh, hasn't been running water here in years. The junkies lived here. They had a old wood stove in the corner. And they just burned trash and stuff for heat. This was a escape hole for when the cops came could go down there and hide under the floor so one of the guys was wanted it's a old Ford still on the half of the frame they just cut it right behind the cab so I'm gonna be removing that that's mine and then the rest of that Jeep is over there it's a rolling chassis for that Jeep Wrangler hoods over there and then there's a couple other pieces over there. there's an old 70's Ford truck nose some doors and uh, looks like half a car I don't even know the snow's been melting and junk's just been showing its face so so old straight six engine sitting over there in the woods gotta get that we're hoping that got my truck and trailer out there because uh, hoping the guy with the excavator will um, pick that stuff out of there plunk some of it right on my trailer and get it out and I'm probably gonna try to get that Jeep body it's, uh, it's sitting on like a little trailer which is kind of cool there um, so I'm going to try to get that body back on the rolling chassis and make it like one piece again and then I can probably take a couple pictures and see if anyone is interested in a little project or Jeep parts you know got a hard top there and up north up here they they like the jeeps so listed the oil tank that's for sale try to sell that deliver that people lived here were for a while no running water, no heat. Just uh, do whatever they could to stay alive. And get their get their drugs and filled the old farm truck with. Uh, probably did about. 
at least 10 truckloads to the dump. Cool little uh, trailer it's sitting right on there. Got some cool old steel wheels with hubcaps. Try to get that pulled out, see what it's all about. Yeah, the whole town knows about this one mobile home here where the people, like I said, have been squatting for years and they were, uh, they were known for a lot of drug problems and a lot of shady stuff going on. They pretty much broke it into every home around this area stealing copper and every time someone moves out of somewhere they go in and strip everything out but <clears throat> I've been uh, like I said been taking the old farm truck and doing like a lot of dump runs for the guy that uh, he bought three trailers here in a row <clears throat> for basically back taxes owed to the town so he capitalized and and bought three of them and he's tearing two down and gonna just have a whole nice compound and add on to one for his that's nice and uh just gonna have a night a lot of nice uh land and all clear and all nice and so anyway been taking stuff to the dump and it's funny because um the uh, the police waved to me, and uh, people in town have actually stopped me and seen me at the dump and at the gas station and stuff. And they uh, everyone's thanking me because I'm helping to clean this place up because everyone hates it so much. Um, he had a hard time throwing out the people that were living in there. They were still in there just uh, trying to keep warm, burning trash, whatever they could find, scraps of wood. And uh, they kept coming back. He told them they had to leave because he bought it. And they kept, they would sneak in at night and uh, they'd be in there sleeping on an old dirty mattress in the corner that, and the, that I had to actually handle and get rid of but he finally had to go in there and just start he basically started throwing things through the walls and through the windows to uh, make it so that it was you know unlivable so so that they would finally leave and even at that they still tried coming back and it's a big mess Big huge mess, but once it's tore down, we're hoping that uh, they're hoping that the neighborhood is gets a little better. Anyway,